I can't believe it's almost four years now since Microsoft Flight Sim hit the scene <laughs> with a bang, you should say. It came onto the Flight Sim market out of nowhere and it has forever changed what Flight Sim is, should be, and what Flight Sim looks like. And so fast forward four years from that release to Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. And man, I have to tell you that we're in for another wild ride in the Flight Sim community. Let's just put it this way. Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 has to be the most ambitious sim ever made. Microsoft invited a bunch of content creators, including myself, out to uh, Arizona, out, of, out to the Grand Canyon, per se, in Flagstaff. And we were there for a couple of days to get hands-on on the sim to see what it was like, what the differences were between it and Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, and just to get a feel for what's to come in the Flight Sim world, specifically in Microsoft world. Because as you know, they are the big player in the market right now. Here's an interview I did with Seb from Microsoft and how they redid this new flight model. Um, flight model? Yes, that's I'm, me. <laughs> I've, I've been simming for six years. Yes. And I fly X-Plane. Yes. And then Microsoft came. And then flight model, obviously, for people who used to fly other sims before, was noticeably not, you know, as what it should be. I just had hands-on upstairs and I can say it's much smoother, mm -hmm. right? Do you have more to go with what we saw upstairs or this is it? Or are you gonna continue to update it? So I can, I can explain the, the, the reasoning, what mm -hmm. happened. So we, uh, when we did 2020, our process was to uh, develop a flight model, um, go see the manufacturer, uh, get data, improve the flight model, go see a test pilot from the manufacturer, they test it. There's always this sort of, um, not very scientific effect of the real airplane always has, has some force and the sim usually not even with force feedback you don't have you flown the vision jet maybe yes have you seen how hard it is yes it's incredibly hard right and that's very difficult to do so for example a test pilot feedback will always ask hey what more control more authority more uh, 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 more more reaction so there was and and then pilots we always we always had multiple feedback um, but it was not, um, there was no scientific method in, t in, in the way of, we did not have a number, let's say the flight model is 15 and reality is 17 or let us make it 17. It was all just feedback. And sometimes it was not, some people want this and some this right. and we're like, okay, based what, on perception. what do you do? Exactly. Right. And for 2024, we developed a scientific approach. So now we have, uh, we have bought a whole series of instruments. We measure uh, accelerations. We measure rotations, we measure uh, forces on the yoke, we measure airspeed around the aircraft. We go fly, we measure, we go back in the sim. So we took the 2020 aircraft, we measure, uh, we developed a, a system to, to give sort of a score. And uh, many 2020 airplanes had sort of 80% accuracy. And uh, then we went in and improved those planes to 95 you know, 90, 95, 97 sometimes. We can, we, it's hard to get to 100 because it was on some planes we did like, for example, three or four recording sessions and the plane will give 97, 105. You know, even the same plane is not exactly always the same because right. these instruments maybe don't have that much, much accuracy right. and maybe the weather is a bit different the, the or, over time and or the weight is a bit different or the, the bag was here and then the bag was here or so many things can happen. But we are now, we believe we're now easily from 80% accuracy to 95, 97%. Mm -hmm. And many users will not even feel the difference because they don't, they don't have a perception of the aircraft that, that really makes a difference. But many simmers or many pilots who know the plane, they will feel that, oh, it's a, it's a notch better. Right. And that's maybe what's, what you perceive. So it's, it's maybe not, so when you think, is there more to go? It's really compared to what aircraft, so maybe we can scratch another two or three uh, percent out of out of the the accuracy. Um, it's we will see, right? But I think we did a lot uh, on on as many aircrafts as we could. We recorded, 
we uh, so we still have pilots checking and stuff but now there's a there's a third way which is these numbers which and it's it's you know it's figures and stuff like that is that real world comparison to the real plane oh yeah real plane yeah yeah. okay great yeah and also the tools so um we we published the procedure on the sdk documentation Mm -hmm. and the tools we use in so basically the tools in the real world well you have to go by the machines so um there's you know that's there's references you can buy the thing but in the sim there's the tool set this is also in the sdk so people who want to make their own plane they can now do graphs and stuff and and uh, some aircraft it's available but you can always go there and measure and then check it and make your plane better so you'd say the third party now have a better sdk to work with yes to make a better yes. Flight they can better. Better, make a better flight model which so is more based on science and less on guessing so no excuse on their part to not get it right then the only excuse is some aircraft you just, I mean, you can't go and fly a 787 or, or historical aircraft which don't exist anymore. I mean, that's that, the big challenge now is to get the aircraft, right? Find it some, somewhere in Europe or in Canada, you have to go there and then fly it, record, make sure, I mean, the weather, sometimes you come and the weather is bad, you can fly. But the real challenge is get, get the aircraft, but we got quite a lot, quite a lot. One more question on flight models. So the existing um, PMDG, the Phoenix, I and I builds, they have their own airplane now for 2020. How much work do they really need to bring it up to 2024 spec, would you say? So, uh, so first of all, it should just work. Okay. And then the, so the systems we added, for example, to have the engines now um, having uh, aerodynamics mm-hmm. or to add another wing or to have a ni- nicer fuselage, these are very easy to, easy to author. So it's, it's, it's extremely easy to add this and etc. Um, and then, well, they have this procedure of testing. So maybe some of them can have a, access to a pilot co- who can do some of the measures on the, on the plane. Um, that's a bit harder, right? Because this require, it requires the aircraft. Um, but many, many airplane makers have actually an aircraft. So sometimes they even the owner, right? That's happens quite a lot of time. So they think they can do that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, we try to make it as easy as possible. There's a lot of documentation now, many tools, to do measures, performance. <clears throat> so I think it would be, there should be pr- practically almost no work to make it just be the same. But then if they want to bring it a notch further, um, it should not be that hard. Right? Easier, I would say, than 2020. So there you have it, guys, directly from Osoba themselves, stating what the new flight model is all about in Microsoft Flights in 2024. Uh, what do you think? Uh, do you think this sounds good, credible? Or are you going to wait until it comes out to see what it flies like? I can tell you from my own hands-on experience on it, it flies much better than 2020. But there's also a question here. Is it going to be better than X-Plane? Yes, I said it. Is it going to be better than X-Plane? Is it going to be the same? Does it matter? Do you care? or you're just gonna be flying whatever sim you love to fly. But tell us what you think in the chat. Let us know what your opinion is on this, but I'm happy to say that Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 has a new flight model explained to you by the developer themselves, and we're gonna enjoy flying this new sim when it comes out. Appreciate you guys. See you on another stream. Take care, bye.